almost the exact same list of 5,000 people, but owners are about to 3,000. But uh, for the homeowners, it'll be the same list. We won't stack it uh, for vacant. So we'll just, we'll have about 20, 25,000 people on that list or call, call, call. And this is basically what I would do. Just simply push them to uh, select these people, push them to dial it. And then, you know, if you are doing, let's say an absentee list, and I would suggest like, you know, kind of for your tracking purposes, if you're doing uh, absentee, I mean, there's no limit to how many campaigns you can set up. So I would do that where if you stack it and you have, let's say my absentee with, you know, unknown equity, and you can do that, assign it to somebody on your team. And if you want to clean it up for any property that's already on a campaign or lead, you can do that. Otherwise, just push it to, you know, uh, dial it and then your properties are going to show up there uh you know the ones that have a phone number and then the goal at that point would be you just start dialing so the goal for us for my team member would be to make about 300 to 350 calls she's also helping me uh you know with the other stuff so the goal would be with a single line dialer to make about 300 to 350 calls a day and then schedule those for appointments so we're not really making an offer unless you know, the seller wants to get an offer. The goal for us would be to schedule an appointment for us because we're closing on everything. We're not wholesaling. So we close on everything that we have them and put them back on the market. But that would be the goal for us. So let's say if I wanted to go in like this list. So it'll show me the list of properties that I have not dialed yet. So I've not even dialed one time or the properties that I've dialed at least one time. So if I want to go ahead and start dialing those, then it's going to ask me, okay, which script do you want to use for this specific you know, uh, dial session. So, uh, make an offer, you know, make an appointment, or if you have any other scripts, I've talked to some investors where they have, you know, different script for uh, script for pre, uh, pre probate. They have different script for, uh, driving for dollars, you know, foreclosures, pre foreclosure. So you can set it up depending on what list you're calling or what campaign do you have set up. And then also you could have a different voicemail that you could be dropping. So if you have, uh, you know, if you're calling a homeowner that you could have a different voicemail be set up that you want to drop if they don't pick up or or said if you're dialing somebody that's on a driving for dollar list or a probate list. So you could have unlimited number of voicemail, pre-recorded voicemail be set up and then you can drop it off, you know, if somebody doesn't pick up. And then depending on which phone numbers you're calling from or which if you're in multiple cities, multiple markets, then you might want to have different local area code phone numbers that you might want to call from. So you can have uh, multiple phone numbers and select which ones you want to call from. And then you can choose between auto dialer or click to dial. Uh, so if it's auto dialer, you could just, you know, just automatically dial the next person. Click to dial would be where you call someone, you load up the next contact, their information show up, then you click dial, and then it starts dialing. And sure. The other cool thing, yep, go ahead. So on the, on the phone numbers, is that using up the minutes from the account the same way? No, this is, this is unlimited minutes. So it's think of it like a Mojo dialer where you just get unlimited minutes, your paper seat, and you get unlimited minutes. And it is still $1 per number? Uh, it's $2 per number, but it's unlimited minutes. Okay. But it'll be like, you'll basically be buying, like adding a seat, which is like $79 per person that you want to give access to. And it'll be unlimited minutes for that specific user. So it's not coming out of your, uh, the, the Seattle minutes that you have. Got it. So in the enterprise plan, you have a separate user that only does cold calling or can any user on the enterprise plan do the cold call? You could, you could add anybody on your team to do cold calling. So if you want to, all you'll have to do is just go into manage user. Uh, and then just, let's say if I want to give Wonder Woman the access to the dialer, I just go and click on this access and then just enable it and then that person will get access to the dialer and their name will show up so when you're setting up a campaign so once okay. i do this um now that i've given this person the access so once i go back to creating a campaign now their name is going to show up so if i do this and if i'm pushing this to dialer and now their name will show up right here so only the people that you've given access to you will be able to assign a campaign so, to so even if you're on the enterprise plan it's still 79 dollars per person Correct. Okay. So it's just think of it like a, you know, a mojo dialer call yeah. tools or batch dialer that you use. So instead of that, it just paid into less stacking and it's okay. a two way integration that we have per game. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah, once you want to start dialing, you just go up right here, click call and um, set up your script and you know, whether you want to use auto dialer, click to dial 
and then you can exclude certain records from dialing based on the phone type so if you want to only dial mobile and you don't want to dial any landline or voip number you can just select landline and voip it will not pull up any record that has a landline or voip number so if you have thousand records that you're calling through and only hundred of those have either mobile or other number it will only uh, filter through those hundred phone numbers it will skip the other 900 from your calling and then you can also skip based on a specific phone status so if you want to skip any phone number that you know for example showed up as disconnected any phone and you can select mul multiple if you want to skip any phone number that showed up at dnc you can skip those uh, you can exclude those from your dialing so when you start dialing it will not even show you that record uh, that you selected as to be excluded from your dialing uh, campaign right now so once i do this i'm going to uncheck this so once everything looks good, you just go ahead and click continue. It's going to pop up this right here and all your script is preloaded right here with all the information that you need. I mean, this is, you know, you can update whoever is calling so you can set up your own script and put your name and your company name. So we're leaving that as a placeholder. But if you notice, like it filled up the seller's name right here, you know, it picked it up from here. It uh, picked up the seller. If I go into the next property, uh, this one is also under my name, but you know, I'll pull up uh, that specific name, whatever the seller name is. So I'll fill up that uh, script and then also pull up all the property address. So any other information that you have for that specific property name, property address, you can set it up in the script and it's gonna read, you know, just based on whatever information you have available. And then this is a two way integration between list stacking and leads, I mean, list stacking and dialer. So any tags as you're talking to the lead or any list that you update any notes that you add are going to get updated in list stacking or if you have somebody working in your team that's updating the list stacking or that's updating your lee uh you know list or tags or anything else it's going to update that in the system in real time so if i start dialing right here so if i make this call all right my phone is switched off so i might go into voicemail and i'm going to wait for it to go into voicemail all right so it went into voicemail uh, so yeah, I have it on airplane mode, but you can just at that point, you can just do, you know, left voicemail, for example, you can put any note. If you want to push it to a lead, you can push it directly from the dialer and you can even set it up on a trip campaign. If you wanted to do that, uh, you can move a contact to, if you do DNC number, it's going to mark that number. It's going to add a status of DNC to that specific number. So you don't have to go in and update that phone number. If you do DNC contact. It would take that phone number, add that status up, update that phone number with DNC status. If you do DNC contact, all the phone numbers will be marked as DNC for that specific uh, property. If you schedule a call, you can select the date and time for a follow-up call. Uh, this is already a lead, but if it were not, then you can move it to a lead. It'll ask you, you know, you can push it to a lead and you can set it up on a drip campaign right from here. So as you push it to a lead, it will automatically be on a drip campaign for you. And then if the seller doesn't pick up, you know, you can just say kept ringing or left voicemail. And if you want to leave any notes, uh, this is a demo call notes. And I can do this and I can just go call next property and it's going to automatically load up and then just start dialing without me having to click any button. And all the information for that property will get pulled up right here. So this is a different property, 8410 East Kennedy Riverside Boulevard. We'll pull up that information seller's name, property address, any other information that you have. So it went into voicemail. As soon as it goes into voicemail, you'll see this pop up. I can just click right here and then it's going to drop a voicemail and then pull up my, because you selected drop voicemail, it will pull up the call results with already this selected. So you don't have to do anything. If you want to leave a note, you can do that. Now this is all grayed out, meaning there's no next property in this campaign to call. There's no other phone number in this campaign to call. So you can exit dialer. And then we'll just keep track of how long you have been on this dialing session. So I've been three minutes and 28 seconds. So once I exit out based on that, it's updating my uh, call logs for me right here. It tells me total time I've been dialing and how what's been my average call duration and what's been the time that I've actually been on call. So I might have my dialer open up for like 26 hours, but I've actually been on call for seven minutes and 19 seconds in this case. So, um, and then when you come into campaign, if you had any scheduled calls that were due for today, it will automatically pull up here. You'll see a pop-up right here. These are the calls that you need to make today. So you don't have to go look for them in scheduled calls. It will automatically be pulled up right here saying today's call. So if they're due to me, it will just show up for me. If they have somebody else on my team that needs to make that call, 
it will show that person how many calls that they need to make. And if somebody calls you or texts you back on your cold calling phone number, it's going to show up in your inbox. So you can see who's called you back um, or uh, who's texted you back. And then as you're looking at any scheduled calls, it will even tell you if you've received a reply or not. So if you have a call that you need to make and then, but they've already texted you back, it'll say reply received, yes. So this way, you know, if you don't want to call them or text them based on the reply that you have, then you can skip them from calling. And this will be all your call logs of every single call that you've made incoming and outgoing. So you can kind of see what's happened with all the calls that you're making. And then you can apply some filters based on call duration, call reserve, assignee, campaign, and time period. So if I want to see all the calls that were like between one to six seconds, then you can just filter for that. We'll show you every single call where somebody called and then it was just less than six, uh, basically one to six second call. Okay. So that's how we are going to be using again in our business, absentee list, like I mentioned, and the homeowner list. Uh, very, very simple filter. They either have 30% equity or unknown equity and they've either owned the property for five years or longer or the last sale date is not available. So that's what we're going to do for absentee and that's what we're going to do for homeowner. Uh, when we're calling, we'll create separate campaigns for absentee and separate campaigns for homeowner just so that for our purposes, we can kind of keep a track of, you know, which campaign is converting best for us, you know, where are we getting most of our um, leads and deals from and then based on that we can keep optimizing it helps us on the other marketing channels also